Okay. You didn't even get to see that. So, oh, you were going to write hi, McKenna. Okay. Man, I wish that would fold up better. Okay. Um, so for, for part A, um, we said an absolute maximum at x equals 4. So here's x equals 4. And this would be the highest point there. It's going down here, down here. That looks good. Micah, yours is good. Yep, Aiden looks good. And Hudson as well. Good. All right, B. So any questions on that one, first of all? Okay, then. B, a local minimum at x equals negative 3 and no absolute minimum or maximum. I was negative 3. Oops. That's not bad. Oh, you did positive. Yep. So, yeah. So, I would say here's your x equals negative 3. There's a, a local minimum because if you go right near negative 3, it's a little higher on both sides. But this is going up forever. This is going down forever. So there's not going to be a maximum. Hudson, you asked a good question. Does a maximum and a minimum have to be a point, or can they be infinity? The answer is they have to be a point. They can't. You can't call infinity the maximum. Right? If it goes off to infinity, there would be no maximum. Okay. So any questions with B then? All right, but we're having troubles with C. A local maximum at x equals 0, a local minimum at x equals 5, an absolute maximum at x equals negative 4, and an absolute maximum at x equals 4. So there's a lot going on there. Micah, why don't you start? I like your graph initially. Why don't you explain initially. your thinking there? Uh. So let's see, the first thing is an absolute minimum at negative 4. So I wanted this point to be the lowest yep. of all of them. Good. And then a local maximum, uh, I try to make not the highest point because it's local, but just, I don't yep. I'm not entirely sure, higher than Kay. between two. Uh, and then the absolute maximum was at... X equals, um, X equals four. four. Yep. So I put that just slightly higher. Yep. And then th the very next point was the lowest point. Was the absolute minimum. Or no, yep. local minimum. Wait, local. Yep. It was local. So, so I put it higher than that one. Exactly. And that's what makes it local because there's still a lower one overall. Yes. That you have over there. So overall, this is pretty good. The only thing would just be to really make sure that's the highest point. And it's okay to dip down like this. To make it more obvious, yes. I feel be, like then that would be a local minimum. You would have another one. It doesn't say you can't have um, another local one, right? Because mm -hmm. um, yeah, in this case, it almost would need something like that. Um, but I would say that would be a pretty good picture there. What were you guys thinking over here? I heard, I heard absolute maximum at four, and I interpreted that that needed to be higher than my like initial like maximum so i was like oh well then i'll just put it go into infinity oh i see <laughs> and so yeah but then you said infinity got, can't be exactly it's got to be a point so, yep. so yeah okay micah what were your thoughts well yeah i have my maximum yep at four uh minimum at five or a uh, local minimum at five then why well, i just had these be more like horizontal so it wouldn't affect it but i guess i could just uh. end it at Yep. Um, but and yeah, horizontal would help to... A local like maximum at zero, and then my lowest point in my graph yep. at... Okay. All right, nice. All right, you guys can erase and go sit back down. Oh, shoot, we didn't get to see. Okay.